Welcome to this episode of Locked In. In this episode, we're doing part three of my gravel bike into a 90s mountain bike. I'm gonna be taking my Poseidon Redwood that I've recently flat bar converted on this channel and taking it out for its first real shakedown ride and giving you guys my first real impressions on how this bike feels in this setup. And for number's sake, I am still running the 80 millimeter stem and the bars are currently at 730 millimeters uncut. And these are the bars that come on the stock Poseidon Redwood flat bar. Again, if you want to see Poseidon offer this as a flat bar option on their website, please make sure to comment below. Also, lastly, I wanna try something. I know we've all made fun of what to do with this small triangle and somebody's probably gonna develop a really small frame bag for it. But I wanna take my tube strap that I got from Granite Design and see if this is actually what it's meant for, to carry a tube. So let's try it out. This is very difficult to do one-handed. <laughs> Well, I'd have to say that doesn't look half bad. I kind of like the funky design on this strap, but it seems to hold kind of just like the perfect spot. Obviously this is gonna be out of the way if you're running a big saddle bag or a bike packing bag. This is a great place to store an extra tube if you got the space there and it straps on nicely. I was gonna try to do it underneath here, but because this tube size is so big, it'd probably rub on the tire. So I figured this is the best spot. What do you guys think? Is this the reason for it? All right, so let's get this thing doing a shakedown run. I'm gonna be running this bike in this little loop that I like doing that's by where I live. It's a great mixed condition area. It's usually where I shoot a lot of my videos because it's kind of secluded. There's not a lot of people there and it has a great variety of mixed terrain. As far as loose sand, there's a few punchy climbs and it really does test out kind of everything in a quick little about mile or so loop that is repeatable. So I'm going to be testing out this bike and this setup and I will be doing a full blown review for these Panaracer Romino tires. These are ultra beefy and basically the most enduro or downhill style tire I've ever ridden. So I'm going to be giving those kind of the initial shakedown because I want to come out with that review to see if these were the right choice for this bike. on the chain ring. I don't feel any difference in the oval. Uh, granted, I've only been riding this for a few minutes, but can confirm basically my top speed at a comfortable cadence with the 3211 is still about 17 and a half to 18 and a half miles an hour. I can obviously spin more and get more out of it, but to be honest on this bike, like that's totally fine with me. I highly doubt I'm going over that regardless. So going down the size of the chain ring wasn't a big bad idea and see how this thing feels. But just riding straight, the 80 feels comfortable. Not a ton of weight on my wrist, so pretty happy so far. There is going to be a continuation of this series. Hopefully, I've been talking with a few companies to hopefully get some cool upgrades to this bike in its flat bar conversion to make it perform better, possibly lighten it up. And like I mentioned before, I will be trying out some XT tires on here to actually lighten the wheel set overall weight quite a bit over these Raminos. But oh my God, the grip is crazy. And a little update on the Advent X shifter. I actually really do like it. It's almost too easy to shift sometimes. I feel like on the upshift on the big paddle, I almost kind of get like a one and a half gear. Sometimes I really have to just kind of lightly tap it to get one gear if I want to do one by one. Obviously smacking a few gears is super easy, but I kept thinking initially my derailleur was slightly out of tune from the initial setup, but it actually is tuned right. It's just I got to get used to doing just a lighter shift action, but really impressed, especially for the price. Definitely gonna have to cut this ride a little short because apparently I left my water bottle at home and I am thirsty. So I'm gonna cut this ride short, but I wanted to 
show you guys a full reveal of the bike. I had a comment in my last video, and they're like, you haven't shown the bike, we really want to see the whole thing. Well, that's the point of making a series to do the reveal. So here we are, here's the full experience details of the Poseidon Redwood in a flat bar. Enjoy. that little montage I'm really digging how this thing turned out I cannot be more stoked and it definitely does change up the riding characteristics completely so I'm gonna give you my initial impressions of this I'm probably gonna do a full wrap-up video once this bike is complete with all the upgrades I have hopefully coming on the way but basically I really think it is a really fun bike like this it is definitely smoother with these bigger tires I'm running probably in the low 20 psi range on both front and back I'm not entirely sure I don't have a gauge on me to, to actually know the exact amount but that's kind of what it feels like and it really does have a lot of mechanical squish I think that stem length wise I still want to play with it so I'll be obviously updating you as the series continues on if I'm going to go any longer but I really think a red shift stem on this bike and I know I love their products and no I am not paid by them to say this I think when that 80 mil comes out I'm definitely going to want to pick one of those up and later in the line I'm thinking about maybe doing a little part on what this bike actually feels like with a shorter stem I had a comment in a previous video saying try a 50 millimeter stem it's really going to sharpen up the handling and I definitely did notice that when taking it out on this ride that I did have to kind of go a lot wider than I was used to because this is a loop I do regularly and so I did have to do a different line choice that I definitely had to think about a little bit more I thought I could kind of barrel through and I thought the wider bars would give me kind of more levers to tip in but I really had to kind of go out board a little bit more and then kind of cut in late more so than I'm used to even on this bike or other bikes so that is something that I might want to try i'm just worried that it might be too upright but comment below on anybody who has experience with that on what they really noticed so going to a 50 would be a massive drop in this bike and again these aren't super wide bars i know if i went wider i definitely wanted would want to go do that but i'm really liking how this bike feels it's completely different it does not feel anything like it did with the drop bars in my opinion with the bigger tires and these bars on here and as far as the gearing goes i'm really happy that i went down in the chain ring size this thing's not even loaded and it is still pretty hefty at 27 ish pounds with pedals and everything on there as it sits in this video so the mechanical climbing advantage that you get out of a smaller ring is definitely great i'll update again later in the series on if i really do notice the oval or if it helps me climb so we'll have to see if that pans out so i hope you like this video series please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and turn notifications on so you can see all the other videos i put out on this channel as well as you can follow me on facebook and instagram and you can support locked in via my spreadsheet link with all the cool merch that i do currently offer as well as on patreon where i do offer one-on-one -on -one consultations at the top two tier levels and lastly thanks for watching another episode of locked in Let's get